It's simple, Mr. Mitchell. Sign the contract and climb a mountain. You've got everything to gain and nothing to lose. I'm doing what you asked. I'm wearing a neural recorder. I'll sign the papers, but I want to see the deposit made first. No deal. We have legal counsel to notarize the contract and ensure your payment. Will I receive the 10 million tax free? That's correct. And just imagine, a wealthy buyer will enjoy your experience over and over. You'll carry a legacy of authenticity. Why not just simulate it? No one can tell the difference. They'll know. Real experiences are the true value these days. Not those conjured up digital recreations that mimic reality. They've got no substance nor consequence. What about legal ramifications? None. The government supports our effort to revitalize the economy. With nearly everyone plugged in, virtual currency has become next to worthless. Your family will receive government sanctioned cash money. What's that? True wealth. Imagine owning real land, not just virtual real estate. We'll reciprocate your genuine contribution with something equally tangible. I must admit, I'm scared, what if? Good. The more you feel fear, the better for our buyer. They'll want to experience your anxiety. In fact, if we detect you aren't scared for a single moment, we'll cancel the contract. You'll return to that overcrowded slum. Your only source of freedom will be the virtual abyss. Why can't I climb now? No. We need your emotional buildup for the climax. Our connoisseur will appreciate its intrinsic value. In turn, your family will have real wealth. Very well. I'll sign them. What's this about dream recordings? It's all about the process to watch your mastery. And an NDA, huh? Yes. No one else must know. They'll never understand what's at stake, right? Yeah, sure. Frank sign the last page. Frank experienced recurring nightmares of screaming and falling to his death, and others of him surviving but completely paralyzed and spoon-fed by his wife. He tried plugging in for a respite. Still, in the VR world, his subconscious manifested his fears into a haunting paralysis inflicted on all of his avatars. On the night before the climb, he woke up screaming, Frank, honey, is there something bothering you? Should we talk about it? Nah. I'm just trying to solve a problem in a world-building scheme. Frank, if you need to talk about it, I'm here. I can plug in and help if you need it. Kind of you to offer. Once I'm finished with this project, you'll live like a queen. What? It'll be a surprise for you. Just wait for me to finish. I can't wait. He kissed her lips, good night, my love. Frank stood stark naked and shivered. The company had dropped him off along with a disguised escort by helicopter at the base of a high mountain. Freezing winds chilled his bones, and he could barely breathe. The escort handed him a two-way VR communicator, a respirator, and a headset, then instructed him to climb up a set of dangling ropes. Frank clawed at the mountainside while rocks crumbled, and dust fell. Midway up, the support line snapped. Look down, Mr. Mitchell, the fall, will definitely be painful and terrible. Your drop may feel like forever. See the jagged rocks. You might well become paralyzed. You'll wish for sudden death, but most assuredly, it'll be excruciating as your bones break and shatter, and you can't move. You'll bleed out first. I can't do this. Sure, you can. Ten million for your family. Out of the slums. A paradise awaits. All you have to do is reach the summit. Frank saw virtual flashes sent to his mind, of a countryside cottage, and a large ranch with horses, land, and trees as far as the eye could see. Think of your family, Frank. Don't fail them. Don't feel regretful for the rest of your life. Frank climbed further up. Rocks cut and scraped his skin, and bugs crawled all over him, then he encountered a large seemingly impassable rock jutting out. Climb it, Mr. Mitchell. You can do it. You must. Your family depends on you. I, I, can't. Do it, Frank. Or we'll make your wife climb the rock. Did you miss that part of the contract? The fine print says if you fail, your spouse must take your place. No, I don't remember that. You're lying. A detailed visual recollection of his signing the contract appeared in Frank's mind. 
It showed the fine print, which stated the terms precisely as the escort mentioned. We've taken this experience from your own mind. You saw the fine print, but you chose to ignore it. However, you've agreed to its conditions. Frank's mind received an artificially generated scene showing his naked wife climbing the mountain and crying out, while she struggled, gasped, and slid on the rocks. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. Frank climbed up the giant rock and lost his grip. He fell backward into the air and cried out for help. Within seconds, he smashed into the jagged rocks below and felt a sharp pain in his back, then died instantly. Mr. Chambers, an elite tycoon of VR Industries, removed the simulation headwear and wiped the sweat from his forehead, then placed it on the table. He experienced Frank's journey through his signing the contract, climbing up the mountain, and falling to his death. Brilliant. I want more. Where can I place an order for a bulk purchase? I have a big party coming up in a week. Only one experience per encoded buyer's signature. We'll need a participant for each experience rendered. It's difficult to find so many participants in such a short time. And much more expensive for such a large volume. Mr. Chambers thought a moment and slammed his shivering fist on the table. It's worth it. This is a true work of art. Place the order.